Hello everyone, Jakub here. Um, firstly, I would like to say that I'm sorry that I uh, haven't been recording videos for the last week, but I've had a pretty nasty larynx uh, infection, and it uh, and it kind of makes it hard for me to speak for uh, longer periods of time. And also, uh, my neighbors have been go going really really crazy with, with drilling and um, basically their uh, apartment renovation activities um, so it has been a tad bit too noisy to, to record stuff however um, I'm currently writing an article um, about creating eSport events and um, I believe that it is uh, going to be quite an interesting listen uh, when, I, when I finally uh, finish it but for today, um, I would like to talk about a simple workflow that I figured out um, earlier this year, if, if I recall correctly. And um, it allows for creating great social media copies. And by copies, I mean um, the additional text that you add to the post. Um, so, so, for example, um, let's say picture descriptions on Instagram and such yeah so um, a while ago I realized that almost everything we speak or write serves a purpose because of this property of the language we can create an example of a universal cause and effect sequence that can be applied to your work firstly there is a factor that affects us secondly the factor creates a need that can only be fulfilled by third persons Thirdly, we create a message that is to influence said third persons and we deliver it. Fourthly, the recipients either do what we want them to or don't. And fifthly, we reach a conclusion. And a practical example could be like that. Firstly, our game doesn't have a lot of players, thus the income isn't matching our expectations. Secondly, this means that we should pursue more active users, thus we start user acquisition activities. Thirdly, we create an ad that should convince people to install our game and we publish it. Fourthly, some of the recipients of the ad install the game, some don't. Fifthly, we gained a certain amount of new users. While we could delve into the entire process of creating an ad and so on, let's just go to the third point, and uh, this will be a part that you probably came here for. And uh, here is the most important part of this, of this video. We need content that will be used as an ad, in this particular case. Let's just say there will be an image or a video. Well, videos usually perform better in ads, so that's always good to know. And firstly, Find out what the needs of your audience are. One of the most important things to do while creating content for social media is to be in touch with your company's prospects, leads and clients, their feelings and their needs. Sure, in the end it is the company that will gain the most profit. However, while you work on behalf of the company, you don't create content for the company. You create content for the recipients of it, and it's usually an easy sell if you know how your game can fulfill the needs of the recipients. Secondly, figure out a satisfying uh, outcome for the community. People like to feel good and they usually browse social media to chill and have fun. This means that if you are able to deliver something that will invoke positive feelings in your audience, they will be more likely to do what you expect them to do and in this example to finalize the purchase try to deliver a worthwhile experience not only in the post but also try to convince the audience that the game is going to make them feel great thirdly acquire proper knowledge about the topic you are going to write about aside from the fact that you should know the product like the back of your hand you need to be able to precisely know all of the details that led you to the creation of this particular piece of content and how to accomplish set objectives. Fourthly, figure out what should be the purpose of your copy. 
Well, speaking of objectives, you need to know what you exactly want to accomplish. In this case, it's easy. You want to get new players as this is a UA campaign. However, if you want to do something else, you need to adjust your copy accordingly. Throwing a nice CTA into the copy will help in this case. Fifthly, design the copy. We sometimes do procrastinate or have a lot of stuff to take care of. However, you need to keep in mind that the sooner you get your copy written, the faster you will be able to do other stuff. So don't slack off, it's not gonna write itself. Sixthly, make it accessible and clear. Make sure you get the point across and that it realizes the purpose. And this point can be summed up in three words, simplification and proofreading. Repeat as many times as needed in order to achieve the goal. Maybe have a colleague read it. It's usually a good idea to ask for a third person's perspective. After doing all of this stuff, you should end up with a copy that um, firstly serves a purpose uh, or a number of them, secondly is reliable, thirdly is easy to read, fourthly makes the audience feel positive things and fifthly can influence the operations of your company in meaningful ways and then post it. As this video pertains exclusively to writing copy, I'm not going to talk about other parts of the creative process. But you need to remember that text posts usually don't perform great and it's good to expand your concept with an image or a video clip in order to drive engagement, enhance your storytelling, etc. You should also pay attention to the comments, people often expect a response when they comment on your stuff. I know this video is a tad bit on the shorter side, but I uh, want to get back to uh, posting more frequently and I hope that um, the the illness that I have right now um, will subside pretty soon. Um, yeah, so I'm keeping my fingers crossed for that. And uh, if you like this video, please subscribe, give it a thumbs up, um, comment uh, what you think about the process, perhaps. Um, you have uh, such a process of your own and you'd like to share it the comments uh, are the great place to do that and um, You can also follow me on Twitter and add me on LinkedIn and this is uh, probably all for now Thank you for watching. I wish you a Merry Christmas because it's coming pretty soon and have a great day Cheers